hey guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 i hope you're all having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are new to the channel then a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel so um i put a post on the community page to say that i am going to be doing a live today instead today thursday instead of tomorrow friday um, around 6 p.m. ish UK time and so do put your notification bell on if you can make it and um, so see when, when I'm on, on on live and also you know my sister has sent me a message uh, late yesterday saying that my nephew and his cousin they are in a football team and uh, their match is actually on Saturday morning is really early um, around 8 or 8.30 8 or something and you know and it's, it's, it's very close to here which has never happened before so she asked if they could stay the night tomorrow so I you know I really uh, won't be able to do the live tomorrow so that's why I'm doing it today so if you are wanting to pop in do check out the message that I put on the community page saying one question per person and that I can only do a maximum of one and a half hours for the live today so pop in early and you know put your question as soon as you come in emoji first question and then go ahead and chat to people afterwards so that we can try and get as many uh, questions answered as possible and hopefully some of you can make it today instead so do check out that community post but what we are going to do for this video we are doing a pick a pile as you can see and we talked about feathers a lot at the start of this week i put a picture on the community page and then the feathers turned up in the sky as well and i did a little video about that i think i'm sure it was on monday do check that out if you haven't seen it so i thought it would be best to bring in feathers for this picker pile so these are my feathers so this is one i was given by the angel so that's brown one brownish creamish one for pile number one and then this beautiful white one here for pile number two i was given this one in such a beautiful way by the angels and then this one here i was given in mexico and um so really beautiful as well so which of these feathers is calling to you today and we are going to bring in a message about your journey. So we're bringing in a message about your journey and messages from your Divine Masculine. So we are starting with the Twin Flame messages, Tarot. So thank you, angels. For power number one, what message is coming through for the journey for power number one? Okay, so we've got a couple of cards that have come out here. So that's for power number one. And then for power number two, thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the journey? okay one card that has come out here and then thank you angels for power number three what messages are coming out for the journey oops let's do that one more time what messages are coming out for the journey for power number three okay so we've got a couple of cards for that one and then we'll bring in the twin flame oracle as well thank you angels for power number one what message is coming through for power number one for power number one okay so Got those cards for power number one and then for power number two the white feather thank you angels we've got two cards as well and then for power number three thank you angels what message is coming through for power number three so we've got a few more cards that have jumped out here for power number three right and then we're bringing in divine masculine messages of the soul uh, secrets of the soul so thank you angels what does the divine masculine want to say what are the secrets of their soul for power number one wow straight out there and then for power number two thank you angels what does the divine masculine want to say secrets of their soul one card and then for power number three thank you angels for secrets of the soul coming through one card as well so that's for power number three Right, and then we'll bring in a love message as well from your Divine Masculine. Thank you, angels, for power number one. What does the Divine Masculine want to say? One card. For power number two, what does the Divine Masculine want to say? One card as well. And then for power number three, thank you, angels. What does the Divine Masculine want to say for power number three? So we've got a few cards that have jumped out for this one. Okay, so we've got our piles. So this one's for two and... This is for three. Okay, so we've got our piles one, two, or three. So which of these is calling to you today? Okay, so we'll start with pile number one. 
and the message that has come out for you is the five of cups so you're being reminded that you are not alone and i feel that this is also a message that's coming through for your divine masculine being reminded by the angels that they're not alone you know they have that support and the guidance is all coming in for them from the angels as they're going through the awakening all the things that are going on in their life they're being reminded that they're not alone you're being reminded as well that you are not alone and you know you may be feeling like you're missing your divine masculine but the angels are saying you're not alone and the two of you are always with each, with each other there is no separation you're always connected you see messages from them in all sorts of different ways connect with them energetically you know telepathically so you are not alone is the message that's coming through there and then the second card that came out is the sun which is a beautiful card you deserve all the happiness you're asking for ask and it will be given so you're being shown here that you're both going to have all the happiness that you are you are desiring that you know and that it is all coming in for you so it's about you knowing that everything is coming forward is moving forward when it comes to your journey and it's going to bring in that happiness that you desire you know the angels are working behind the scenes they are with both of you leading you both to being with each other and you know you are going to have the life that you desire and you know and you're being asked to ask for what you desire and know that it is given so all that you've been praying for asking for when it comes to your journey other areas of your life know that it is given because you have been asking and your divine masculine is also learning to ask for the things that they desire the happiness that they're desiring with you so that's what I really feel is coming through here. You're both working towards that happiness and it's all coming in for both of you. And I feel your divine masculine is learning to ask for this and you know, the things that they are desiring. And as they're asking, it will be given to them. For you, you've been asking as a divine feminine and know that it will be given. So you are going to have the happiness and the life that you desire together. So really powerful. And then the cards that have come out as well from uh, the Twin Flame Oracle. So the first card that has come out is Breakthroughs. So you're being shown here that things are marching ahead. You know, your divine masculine moving forward towards you, your journey moving forward as well. Breakthroughs are coming to bring you two together, which is what is going to bring in that happiness that you desire. So really powerful. Your divine masculine is marching ahead towards you. And I also feel your journey is moving ahead. So, you know, trust that that breakthrough is coming to bring you two together. And loyalty has also come out. Trust that your twin will find their way. So you're being shown here that they are going to find their way. You are not alone. They're being guided as well on their journey. They're not doing that journey alone. And they want this happiness with you. So you're being asked to trust. They are loyal to you. Trust that they're going to find their way. And that is going to bring in the happiness and the life that you desire. And also miracles ahead so beautiful cards you're being shown that the miracle is coming in miracles ahead you may be seeing bees you may be seeing dogs as well you know you're being shown that all these the loyalty is there and the communication is coming as well so you know you're being shown that there are miracles coming ahead so it's about you trusting and continuing to really be in that place of having faith believing in miracles because miracles are ahead for you that are bringing in the love that you desire really beautiful and your divine masculine is saying to you the butterfly my transformation so there's a lot of like you know um sort of animals coming in there or you know insects as well you've got the bee you've got the dog you've got the butterfly as well so your divine masculine is letting you know that they're transforming and it's that transformation that is happening you may see a butterfly that's showing you the transformation that is going on for your divine masculine they're saying to you the butterfly my transformation so they'll be showing you that they are going through this transformation which is what is leading them to you trust that they will find their way they are on their way to you so you may see that butterfly as well you're being shown that they're transforming and that is bringing in miracles when it comes to your journey so you're being asked to trust and beautiful the message that they have for you is i love you so your divine masculine is saying to you i am transforming and i love you i want to be with you i want i deserve to have that happiness the life that i desire and you know because i have all this love for you and i know i will have that happiness with you so they're coming through to you saying to you divine feminine i 
love you. So really beautiful messages. So they're transforming and they are loyal to you and they're working towards this love with you. And that is because they, uh, they love you. So that's the message that's coming through. Really beautiful. And then for this gorgeous one for power number two. So the cards that has come out from this one, one deck, uh, one card uh, from this deck, one card, justice. So this is powerful and it says prepare for comic endings and change that will lead to a new beginning and peace. So really powerful. You're being shown here that that justice and fairness is coming in when it comes to your journey. Prepare for comic endings and change. And I really feel this is what is going on in your divine masculine's life right now. You may not know about it, but there's change that is happening in their life. Comic endings that are coming in to help them to be able to move forward towards a new beginning with you, their divine feminine, and having more peace within their life, within themselves, and also in, in their day to day life as well because where they are in the comic situation whether it's a relationship a job whatever that is they don't have that peace and they want a new beginning and justice is coming in fairness is coming in to bring in that change to bring in those comic endings so that they can move forward towards this new beginning with you so really powerful that this has come out. And for you, you're being shown that there are comic endings that are coming in to bring in that new beginning as well of the life that you are desiring with your Divine Masculine. Really powerful. The cards that have come out. So we've got two cards. So we've got Ascension Symptoms. So your Divine Masculine, you know, you may be picking up on Ascension Symptoms from your Divine Masculine or just your old Ascension Symptoms as well. You know, there's a lot that is going on right now. So you may be suffering from these Ascension ascension symptoms i really feel that you know maybe you're waking up at night as well you can see there's the moon there and you know just staying awake you know in the, sort of in the early hours and you know all part of those ascension symptoms so you may be you know going through some sort of ascension symptoms that are affecting your sleep is what i'm really getting today with this card so you know there are some ascension symptoms that are happening but know that a message is on its way and the message is on its way because there are comic endings and change that is happening for your divine masculine so they can be free from these things to be able to move forward towards you to tell you how they feel so it's about you knowing that in the right time that message is going to come in because it is on its way they are preparing to bring in change or going through change right now in their own life as well. Every journey is different. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But they are preparing these comic endings that are happening to bring in that change. And that is going to result in them being free to be able to message you and, you know, tell you of the way that they feel. So really powerful. The, the second card that came out from this deck, is said, says i live first because i can't stand to see you walk away from me so i really feel that this is what happened with your divine masculine when they left before they left because they had all these fears you know this is about fears of abandonment and they're saying to you i, I leave first or i left first because i couldn't stand to see you walk away from me so they had those fears that maybe you would leave them first so they did leave first but you know now they are seeing that where they are they don't have the peace they don't have the life that they desire, you know, and they're wanting to be with you. So there are comic endings that are coming in and also the releasing of fears because those fears themselves are like, you know, things that stop them from being with you. We're healing the wounds of the things of the past so that they can release those fears of you being the one to leave them. These are things that are going on with them. So these are things that they're working on releasing as well. That's what I'm really feeling here. Working on releasing those insecurities and those fears that would have made them walk away just in case you would then leave them so you know that's what because they would have been scared or you know they couldn't stand how they would have felt if you were the one who had left them so it's all these deeper abandonment issues and i feel that right now they're working through those as well you know that change that is happening within them releasing the insecurities the wounding of the past and those fears so that they can be able to really step up and move forward to tell you of the love that they have for you. So powerful is all to have come out. And they're saying to you, I will get there. So they are wanting to be with you. 
they there are comic endings happening in their life and change happening for them and they're saying to you i will get there i will have this life with you i will get there releasing those abandonment issues the things that the insecurities that i've had all this time so i can be free to be with you free from those fears free from those insecurities and they're saying to you i will get there they i really feel they're doing what they need to do right now so they can have this life with you which is why you're being shown that you know they are the message is on its way because they want to communicate they are going to get there they are going to tell you exactly how they feel so those are the messages coming through for power number two okay and then for power number three for this one so the cards that have come out so the first card that we have is the seven of swords and it says have compassion at this time and rise above the situation to see it from a fresh point of view so as a divine feminine, you're being asked to have compassion towards your divine masculine and whatever they're going through in their life right now, you know, have compassion towards them. The more you are operating from the place of love and having compassion and, you know, that is going to help you to see things from a different perspective, to really change your view of everything. And I really feel as well, your divine masculine right now is working on taking off that mask. You know, the mask of the life that they've always lived and, you know, the defensiveness behind the mask, hiding behind the mask. They are working on releasing this so that they can operate more from who they truly are. So you're being asked to have compassion whilst they work through releasing, you know, taking off that mask so that they can truly step into their power. So that's the message that's coming through. The second card that came out is the three of wands. Hold your vision with unwavering faith. So you're being asked to hold the vision of the life that you desire and have unwavering faith. Hold the vision that it is all going to come in for you at the right time. Right now, your divine masculine is working on releasing the things that need to go, taking off that mask so that they can truly become who they are meant to be and move forward towards this life with you. And you're being asked to hold that vision of the life that you desire with them and with unwavering faith. So it's about you standing in your faith. And I feel that they have a vision of a life with you as well. And they are wanting this life with you. And they have that vision and they are working towards this. You know, they're working towards that life with you. And then the next card that has come out so from the Twin Flame Oracle, we've got forgive, uh, release the past. So, you know, whatever may have happened with your divine masculine, this is why you're being asked to have compassion. You know, forgive, let go of the past. There are things of the past. It is about releasing them. You need to release them to free yourself as well from holding on to all that pain. So forgive and release the past. That is going to help you to be able to move forward as well on your journey. And let it all flow. So let everything when it comes to your journey flow. Focus on unconditional love. Operating from the heart. A focus on unconditional love when it comes to your divine masculine that's about not having any conditions or demands just letting it all flow trust that they're going to really sort of do what they need to do in their life remove that mask be able to move forward towards you in the right divine timing and whatever may have happened in the past they were wearing that mask you know and it's about you forgiving that past and now operating from unconditional love and you know and that is going to help your journey to move forward and know that you are both learning right now on this journey you're both gaining wisdom and knowledge you're gaining wisdom as a divine feminine you know really understanding the journey growing within yourself and the same is happening for your divine masculine even from the things that happened with when you were two were together the things that are going on on your journey you you are both learning from this so it's helping you both to grow and to keep moving forward on your path so you're also being asked to raise your vibration you are manifesting so you're manifesting this love that's why there was a message about the fact that hold your vision and have unwavering faith because you're manifesting this love and you know the thoughts that you think the uh, are the thoughts that create the the life that you are desiring so you are manifesting think positive thoughts raise your vibration be in a place of you know feeling good and feeling joyful having jo love peace and joy that is about your higher vibration and that is going to help you to manifest the love and the things that you're desiring for your life so raise your vibration has also come out your divine masculine is also saying to you i will call you soon 
So, you know, they're working on taking off that mask and they're saying to you, they want to contact you. They're saying, I will call you soon. So they're working on this for themselves. So trust, have unwavering faith that they are going to contact you. This is the secret of their soul. So they're letting you know that they will call you soon. So really powerful. And they are also saying uh, to finish off the cards that have come out from uh, the other deck. So they're saying to you, I miss you. So they're missing you. You know, they're saying, Divine Feminine, I miss you. I, we may, may not be communicating and, you know, things may have happened in the past, but know that I miss you. So they're wanting you to know that they're missing you. And they're also saying to you, you turn me on. You know, so they think about you and they feel turned on and aroused by you. Everything about you, your body turns them on and they're wanting you to know this. So they're missing being with you as well. And they're also saying to you, I get lost in your eyes. You know, so they get lost in your eyes. They look into your eyes and, you know, they just get lost in them. But that's because of all that love that they have for you. So they're saying to you, I get lost in your eyes. And they're also saying to you, I have been watching you. So they're letting you know that they've been watching you somehow, some way. You know, they've been watching you, whether it's looking at your pictures, connecting with you energetically. You know, they are letting you know that they've been watching you. This is them just really wanting to feel close to you during this time where they're missing you. You know, they're wanting to be with you, but they're still working on releasing what they need to release in their own life first so that they can be with you. So they're letting you know that they're watching you. And they're saying, I will call you soon. So they are really wanting to connect with you. And the last card that came out is, I know we are twin flames. So they know that you have this special bond, this special connection. They want to be with you. That's why they're saying, I will call you soon. I am missing you. I will, I, 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 they love everything about you. And so they're saying, I know we're twin flames. They may not know the term twin flames, or maybe they do, you know, because there was a card about learning, knowledge and wisdom. So they may have been researching the connection as well, trying to understand things about this, uh, the way that they feel connected to you. So they may know the actual term twin flames, or they may just know that you've got a strong bond, a strong connection. And they're saying to you, I know we have this powerful connection. I know we are twin flames. I know we, you know, we are meant to be is the message that they have for you. So really beautiful messages coming through for all three pals. I hope you have a great day, guys. And I'll see those who can make it later on on the live. Love, peace, positivity and light.